everybody, Hellraiser here, and good news first, the semester is finally over, so I actually have some time now to myself that I can, you know, relax a little. It means I'll, I should have more time to do more videos, and it also means I should also have the time to, you know, start working again since college I, I pretty much can't balance college and work while getting decent grades. Uh, the bad news is... I had to shell out $600 on my damn car, and my headset also broke, so I just had to just go and order a new one, and I'll probably provide a review for that. But, yeah, like I said, I'm going to be doing some, uh, going to try to be doing some more, more reviews, and, um, I'm going to probably focus on albums at first, and if, uh, afterwards I might get around to doing movie reviews, and I'm going to start, uh, off hopefully a better streak of reviews with Skyforger by Amorphous. Now, um... Amorphous, I, uh, haven't listened to for too long. I've listened for maybe, uh, a year or so. Uh, this was, uh, one of my first tastes of the band. Um, I've heard four of their albums, including this one. There was this one, Silent Waters, Eclipse, and Tales from the Thousand Lakes. Uh, I am looking forward to their new album, The Beginning of Times, which is coming out, I think, right before, um, Memorial Day weekend. Um, I do want to listen to some more of their older stuff, like, uh... I do like the song alone off Am Universum, and even though it's gotten mixed reviews, I am I am interested in it because I've really been into progressive music recently. And uh, on that note, it's kind of curious uh, about this album because of the four that I've heard by them so far, I'd say that this is actually the weakest. And it's all and you know why 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 I say it's peculiar is because it's more progressive than Silent Waters and Eclipse were. Now, uh, when I first got the album, I, I liked it a little more, but, you know, it didn't take long for me to realize that it definitely has some shortcomings, and, uh, I mean, it, it does have some good songs on here, but at the same time, it only has maybe one song I would consider a classic, which is the title track. Um, I mean, it's, it's still very fundamental amorphous, uh, current amorphous anyway. Uh, I do like Tommy, uh, Jotson's vocals. He, uh... I mean, he doesn't, you know, handle growls so well, in my opinion. I, his growls are on and off. Like, uh, like the re-recording they did of Black Winter Day, his his growls and lows were good on that. But uh, Majestic Beast, for example, on this album, I that's easily the weakest song on the album, as far as I'm concerned. His vocals just sound so forced, yet they come off feeling very weak and just underwhelming. But on the flip side, there are some better songs, like, uh, Sampo's a pretty good opener, it's, uh, you know, it show, it, sh it pretty much shows the best taste of, a uh, you'll, you'll get of, as far as their progressive influences on this album. Uh, Silver Bright has a good opening, but then it gets kind of boring after that. From Heaven to My Heart, it's pretty similar. Uh, Sky is Mine is pretty good, even though the intro is, uh, a lot like, uh, part of one of their songs on Eclipse, I forgot what the name of it, I think it was, uh, Per Kel, or Per Kelly, I'm not sure you pronounce it, uh. Like I said, Majestic Beast is pretty weak. Uh, my Son and Skyforger, or uh, My Son and High Star, those those are okay. Skyforger is definitely the best song in the album as far as I'm concerned. And the rest are pretty forgettable, including the uh, bonus track on here, which is a godlike machine. Um, lyrics are very fundamental and morphous, which is to say above average compared to most of bands, including metal bands. I do like the artwork a lot. I mean, even though it is, uh, even though I heard that the album cover is redundant or like a very similar to another band's album cover i do like it still and uh you know i i really do like the, the album art that they gave like i mean the cd looks pretty cool and uh you know this is really neat right here so i mean it's a very inconsistent album as far as i'm concerned in fact the best parts are within the first half for the most part with the exception of the title track um so yeah i mean it's, it's a listenable album, it's definitely not a huge disappointment, but after how excellent Silent Waters was, uh, it was a disappoint pretty big disappointment compared to that, but it's still an enjoyable album, so that's Skyforger, and I would give it a 3 out of 5, so that'll uh, do it for now, and hopefully I'll get some more reviews up soon, and I'll talk to you guys later.